woman pregnant with devil's child. She begs the white bear, kill her before the baby is born, otherwise the consequences would be unthinkable. The white bear did not hesitate. It destroyed the demon's lair, and it was pushed up by the blast. A few days earlier, the villagers rescued a monster. It had an ugly face, red all over, its body reeked of a disgusting stench, but the village chief treated the creature like a god. It was taken to a Buddhist temple and cared for, even though some villagers objected. The mayor remained unmoved. He thought if he did this, he would be blessed by spirits, but was that really the case? When the monster awoke, it went straight for the young woman, the old woman tried to escape, but it lifted her up and slammed her to the ground, and the old monk next to her, he was so scared that he went limp, he had to keep chanting the sutra, beg Buddha's blessing, the monster was only interested in the young woman, finally, he took the young woman away, ever since that day, the monster would come to the village every now and then, take young women away, until now, there's only one girl left in the village. Then the village chief came to his senses. When the last girl was taken, maybe their village will be destroyed. That day two wounded warriors came to the village. The mayor begged them to help drive the monster away. He didn't expect them to kill the monster, just get rid of it. But the monster was too strong. They were powerless. Their conversation was overheard by the little girl. She knew what the monster was capable of. It was hard to fight it with human strength alone. She was sad and ran out wandering helplessly through the thick forest. I do not know when a piece of bright red flowers appeared in front of her. The girl lies among the flowers, pounding the ground in despair. Why did she go through this ordeal, to meet such a monster? If there is a god in this world, why didn't they show up? In her distress, a white bear appeared across the river. It is catching fish. The girl panicked and tried to escape, but by now her legs had lost their strength. She lies on the ground and plays dead, hoping to escape, but the bear didn't hurt the girl. It just looked at her quietly. Its eyes were full of kindness. It could be that this girl has no one to listen to her inner grievances. The girl told the bear everything that had happened in the village. The white bear seemed to understand the girl's words. It gently licked the girl's cheek, as if to say, don't worry, then it turned and left. The little girl cried out not to go alone, as if he had not heard her. The white bear continued on his way. It sensed the forest for the monster's scent. Looking for signs of the monster, soon the scent brings the bear to a ruin. All the trees have been burned down, all around them are the remains of animals, and in the middle of the clearing, there's what looks like a spaceship. The white bear crawls through the hole in the middle. This is the monster's lair. Inside, there is a woman who has been captured by the monster. It turns out that the monster keeps taking young women, just to breed. It has destroyed countless families. It destroyed the entire village. The angry white bear immediately rushed forward. Destroy the monster's lair. This scene was spotted by the monster who had come back from outside. The monster was furious. It strangles the white bear and prevents it from moving. Although the white bear was very strong too, but it was like a child in front of the monster. It had to fight back with its own sharp claws. Finally, it managed to scratch the monster's eye. It breaks free, only to be immediately punched away by the creature again. The monster kept venting his anger at the white bear. Now the white bear wants to fight back, but it's too late. As it was about to be killed by the monster, the samurai who had been commissioned by the village chief came. He knew he could not defeat the monster, and yet he rushed forward with his spear in hand. His attack seemed to have no effect but he was knocked out of the way by the monster. The little girl hiding behind a tree was also spotted by the monster. The monster dropped the bear in his hand. It came at the girl like a madman. It looked at the little girl. It's like looking at delicious food. Just at that moment, the monster was struck by a sudden blow. It was the white bear that saved the little girl. The monster was furious. It kicked the bear away. Then, it struck the white bear with all his strength. They frantically fight each other, but the bear was no match for the monster. And that's when, the soldiers come from nearby. Numerous bullets and arrows hit the monster at the same time, but they do not hurt the monster. Monster rages and slams officers and soldiers into a pile of mush. At that moment, the white bear suddenly rose up and lifted the monster, and with all the strength he could muster, strangled the monster alive. The white bear also collapsed. As to where the white bear and the monster came from, no one knows for sure. Some say that the white bear is an incarnation of the mountain god. The monster is a demon from hell. In fact, this little girl was the saddest of all. Although the white bear defeated the monster, her end remained unchanged, for she was the only woman left in the village. In that feudal and superstitious village, it's a terrible thing to think about. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.